Welcome to Food and Beverage Services by Future Smooth. How are you? Do you feel great from our previous lesson? Did you follow the steps in taking room service order? I hope that you were already done with that competency. We will go to our next lesson, which is how to set up trays and trellis in providing room service. Are you ready? All right. Before we start the lesson, let's have some games. Do you know the viral game Never Have Up Ever in the social platform today? I prepared some questions and you will answer I have if you were had experience the situation. And I have it if you haven't experienced or tried. Do you understand? Okay, let's start. First question is, never have I ever eaten breakfast in bed. I have or I haven't. If your answer is I have, great. If I haven't, you must try later. Second, never have I ever eaten family dinner inside the hotel room. If your answer I have, sign up all. If haven't, soon we will experience that. Third, never have I ever pretended to be sick for breakfast in bed. If you have experience, how do you feel? Guilty or not guilty? If haven't, keep it up. And last, never have I ever always eaten meals, breakfast, lunch, or dinner in bed. If you experience that, are you a king or queen? If not, it's okay. It's still nice to eat in the dining area with family. Before we go on with the lesson, we have some reminders from our previous lesson, taking room service order. Following the guidelines is the best way in handling room work effectively, efficient, and confidently. Here are the guidelines. Number one, use this standard greeting. No ad lib to keep your conversation smooth. Number two, each guest must be given complete attention. Customers is always our priority and service is a must. Number three, each guest must be addressed by his or her last name to keep the conversation formal. Always use formal language. Avoid using slang words, no bad words, murmur also. Guests must always be given an estimated delivery time. The guests must always hang up first, no pause, no chisness. Secondary conversation should be carried out in the office when orders are already endorsed to the concerned department. After the room service order, or you receive the order, you have to deliver the receipt to the following department, to the kitchen for the food, to the cashier for the bill, and waiter in charge for the preparation. We are now going to proceed to our lesson, set up trays and trolleys. Secondary conversation should be carried out in the office when orders are already endorsed to the concerned department. After the room service order, or you receive the order, you have to deliver the receipt to the following department, to the kitchen for the food, to the cashier for the bill, and waiter in charge for the preparation. We are now going to proceed to our lesson, set up trays and trolleys. Let me give you the learning objectives for this lesson. Number one. Select and check the room service equipment and supplies for cleanliness and good condition. Number two, set up trays and trellis according to the food and beverage order. And last, assess the worth of the set up trays and trellis. In setting up the tray and trellis for room service, we must follow the following procedure. What are those? Make sure you have your pen and paper for you to jot down this procedure. First is review. You must review the orders that is stated in the order slip and prepare the appropriate equipment and supplies like cutleries, china wares, 
glasswares and linens and others. Second is check. Check all the service equipment to make sure that it's clean and undamaged. Last is set. Set up tray and trolley ready for delivery in accordance with the standard operating procedures or SOP. Let broaden our knowledge on how we will check the service equipment. In checking service equipment, you must observe the following. For the tray, it must be free from scratches, nicks, no foul odor or stains. For the trolley, free from scratches, nicks, no squeaky sound, covered by clean linen. For the plates, no cracks, stains, and free from grease. Cutleries, no rust, no bended ports, no cracks for disposable spoon or fork if requested by your guest. Linen, it must be ironed or well pressed. Starch with no stains, no cigarette burns, and stains, no foul odor. And last, folded table napkin, it must be well folded, basic roll or flatten. Now, we will prepare our tray or trolley. First, put the tray on the table. We fill condiments like salt and pepper shaker, ketchup, soy sauce, or vinegar, whichever is requested. Prepare the chinaware and glassware depending on the number of covers. For beverage order, Prepare straw or stirrer, wrap with paper napkin, or put it in a poster. For wine order, wine baskets or stands. Fold table napkin with a silverware cutlery to minimize the space. For service water, fill the glass with ice or pitcher and wrap it with a cloth. Prepare the flour and paste. the tray is set up, you must now fill out the control sheet. Control sheet is an inventory list used by hotels to monitor the movement of the equipment, easy to trace and to avoid loses. Shut down all the equipment used. Next is to pick up the food order in the kitchen. The captain shall check the room service order before delivery. And last, Pick up the bill from the cashier. Put the bill in the bill folder. This is an example of control sheet. Don't forget to shut down all the equipment used. Have you understand the procedure in setting up the tray? I hope you understand. Let's try if you know now what are the service equipment to be used if your guest ordered this. Mr. Leo Santos of room 205, called the ROT, or the room service order taker, at 7 a.m. and need to deliver on or before 8 o'clock. He ordered two continental breakfasts that consist of oatmeal, scrambled eggs, sausages with cheese, and coffee. Can you identify now the service equipment? Write it down now in your answer sheets. Let us see if you also have this on your list. Again, Mr. Leia sent us of room 205 called the room service order taker at 7 o'clock in the morning and need to deliver on or before 8 o'clock. He ordered two continental breakfasts that consists of oatmeal, scrambled eggs, sausages with cheese, and coffee. 
what are the service equipment to be used? Here are the two cereal bowl, two dinner plate, two cup and saucer, two cereal soup and spoon, two dinner fork, two butter spreader, one coffee pot, two placemat, trolley or a tray, and a flower vase. Did you get all the service equipment used? Great! Now, transfer this in your control sheet. Are you ready to set up your tray? Nice! I hope that you follow and provide quality service to your guests. For your post test, please browse using your module on setup trays and trolley. Before I will end my lesson, let me give you some key points to remember. In setting up the tray or trolley for room service, the setup depends on the number of covers, the food and beverage items ordered, and the meal or snacks requested. Follow the establishment standards for tray or trolley preparation for the different meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and for complementary items and special requests. Check all service equipment to make sure that it's clean and still functional. Check to ensure that the trolley moves properly. Make sure that the presentation of the setup is attractive, well-balanced, and safe. Ensure that the necessary condiments are included in the setup. For your assignment, prepare now your setup tray. And for next week activity, you will now to deliver the food order to the guest room. Are you excited? I am too. Again, I am your teacher Smith at your service. Bye-bye.